Hello again. Today we have something different on the bench. This is a Orbit Sound Dock E30 soundbar. Uh, I did check on the internet. This is uh, quite an expensive speaker. Uh, there was a problem with the speaker. It wasn't. It wasn't powering on. Actually, I did fix it, uh, but since I didn't find any video about how you can open this thing after I reassemble it, <laughs> I decided to make a video and show you how you can open it. So let's start, of course. The first thing, of course, we have to take out the four screws here on the bottom. We need, this is H3 bit, I don't know. Is that the proper name? We have to remove the four screws here. The problem with the speaker was uh, probably someone plugged in the wrong charger. There was a few MOSFETs blown and actually now the Type-C charging is not working but I can't find the IC so they'll use it just a, as a, a regular bluetooth speaker now we have to remove this this is uh, stuck with the, some sort of magnets so you just pull it up like this there are some magnets on it on the other side this is uh, stuck with a double sided tape so you just take it out you see it's sticky there is no screws in here now we have to remove this rubber sealing here. Uh, Why well, my camera is not focusing? Just a second. Yeah. Now this you have to just pull it, pull it up on one side. like this there are three screws here hidden so we'll remove them also they're regular Phillips screws Now, before sliding this thing, we need to remove this board. This is the the volume button, but there is a there is a cable behind it which is blocking the whole thing to get out. So we're just gonna remove the four screws here. and just pull it up a little bit and then slide it back like this now we have access here to the cable we're gonna disconnect the cable and now this whole thing can't go out This is some wireless charging, I think. I didn't check properly. Now, to remove the board, <coughs> the big one, we need to remove all the small screws here. The the Type-C charging board is connected to the big board with a, a small 6-pin connector so in order to remove the board you can or lift just one side of the board or remove the whole board 
it's much easier. One of the problems here was uh, the input MOSFET because the speaker is working with a 19 volts charger probably someone plugged in the wrong polarity charger or something like that this was blown the IC on the type C charging board was also blown so I couldn't find it I spoke with the customer they don't need a type C charger so just leave the board like this and disconnect the big cable this is for for the speakers I think now we have one cable here which is for the for the Wi-Fi module or for the Bluetooth and the small board is held by two screws only just lift it like this here are the other damage on the board I removed the, the two ICs so because they were shorting out the whole board basically that's the whole procedure now the only thing left here is the speakers and I don't know what's under, underneath here probably some amplifier or something like that basically that's the whole video now I'm gonna try and put back everything together You can skip this part if you like, but since I already opened it, I have to close it back, so yeah. Now first we gotta connect back the plug here for the Wi-Fi and the cable here for the amplifier, I think. Now we're gonna put back the board. like this be careful with the connector here it have to go the proper way now let's put the big screws they're holding the board to the cooler because those chips are getting mad hot when this thing is working Now we have to put all the small screws here. This is making a quite impressive sound actually. Pretty loud speaker. Now we're gonna put this into the chassis and after that we're gonna plug back the the speaker the power button board because it's much easier. Because this cable when you plug it it has to go all the way in and it doesn't block the other board if you do it the other way around you'll have problems connecting this small board here
Now we have to put. You can put some glue if you like, but this thing is sticking very nicely. Now we're gonna put that three screws under the rubber ceiling. Now we have to put this thing together again. There is there is a certain direction that you can plug this, so if it doesn't fit the proper way, just put it the other way around. Like this. Now we have to put the other screws so it doesn't move and we're gonna put the magnet cover and we want to power it on, of course, to see is it still working after this disassembly. Let me plug in the adapter. We have a red light, we're gonna push it, let's see now, Is away. The lucky winners are Alma and Stefan Soderlind from Tuma, Sweden, Bianca Alvarez. Basically, that's the whole procedure. I hope you liked the video. Bye bye for now.